Samuel Brock Flynn show. I have Aiden Goblet, who is an actor, and he started very young. I do know that much. Um, and uh, are you still in the on the movie business, acting and and doing some things? Uh, can you name some of those if you don't mind? Uh, yes, I have uh, been in several movies uh, per se. Uh, I've been in a uh, few. Uh, very young, uh, like let's uh, name some off Cecil speed kills. Uh, and then a few projects that my dad's worked on. Uh, he's currently working on a movie called blood right. moon Massacre, And, uh, so we're working on that and that one, I'm going to be the killer in, uh, that movie. And then I'm also going to be playing some sort of sheriff. Uh, but that one's a uh, blood moon master by my dad, Robert Goblet. Oh, yep. I know who he is. Uh, yeah. Um, that I know you've said before, uh, last time I talked to you, just uh, that you've uh, like met him in like in different movies and you've like filmed a few. Y- things. Yes, I have. Yes, that was uh, some of Donald James Parker's movies, actually. Um, which Donald is a great guy. He's a good Christian guy. He's he's a good good. Uh, he's a good teacher as well. He's actually was my writing teacher years ago. Now. Now I'm actually out of high school and went through some college and went through, through some other things, but yes, and working. Um, what um, what what did you go to college for? I know you mentioned that you went to college a while back. Well, I was going to school uh, for the pro piloting uh, program at MTSU, um, and then around about that same time, I started my business, the Goblet Job Finder. Uh, and that's more or less how I met you. Uh, but, uh, yes. And just due to circumstances and due to my, uh, growing business, uh, kind of more or less decided to work on that instead of, uh, college. So I decided college wasn't necessarily for me, which is an okay thing. Uh, college is not required for everything. I currently am working a good job and my business is slowly but surely growing. And, um, I can't wait to, see what the future holds uh as far as that and i am getting on like more of the social level and becoming known by the internet i have a ton of followers on several of my social media platforms and people are getting to know me that way i have a few myself as of course you've seen some um yeah, I, I don't generally understand some of this stuff, this new age stuff people are doing. You know, they want to know how many Snapchat snaps you have and other nonsense. And it's like, why do I care <laughs> half of the time? I mean, truly, like, why? Uh, it's It doesn't really matter. Uh, it, it don't mean anything to me. It, it doesn't mean I have to have that in order to exist. I mean, it's not, you know, and life's not a popularity contest. And I'll be honest with you, I've worked and I've seen people that are in their 30s or 40s that think life's still a popularity contest. And it's not. Oh, no, absolutely not. Uh like, to me, at the end of the day, it don't matter if how many followers I have. Like, I could have yeah. none, I could have a million. I, I don't care. Like, at the end of the day, we're all going six feet under one of these days if we've lived the life that we should be. Like, by following Jesus and going through uh, the narrow road, we'll make it to heaven. Uh, right. Like, at the end of the day, in God's eyes, we're, we're all the same. Uh, we're just... A bunch of sinners, honestly. Right. So the big question for you of the night is, uh, Aiden, is what do you think of the current administration? What What do you think of the in the White House, the current administration in the White House specifically? Well, currently, uh, they suck. Uh, they have caused record high inflation, and it is just honestly. I agree. Gas is at all time high. Rent yes, and, sir. Uh, other interest rates are awful, and uh, it's getting hard to uh, buy a house or rent an apartment uh, and just buy the ne- basic necessities uh, in order to live. And we people are insane if they think that we can uh, 
have four more years of the script. Right. Where do you stand politically uh, as of right now? I'm definitely going to be voting for Donald Trump's upcoming uh, election here in November. Uh, right. We need him back in office and his policies. Like, I know he's a very controversial guy right now. But I don't care. To, to me, his policies is worth more more to me. And as far as moving this country forward than, right. uh, than what he's being charged with, I don't care if he's a felon. I don't care if he's not. I do know that there's currently some things going on that his charges may get dropped because of uh, the uh, jury uh, ended up talking about the trial way before they should have. And like the day before, like someone posted their family members, uh, a part of the jury, and that the jury was planning on finding him guilty the next day. And so right. now. Like now it was about, all planned, like it was premeditated. Oh, absolutely. Like all these so. charges, everybody with a brain knows that they're all bullcrap. What do you think this country needs? We need people in office that truly want to push America forward and put America first. Instead of sending out money to other countries, we need to put the money back into our own uh, country and like improve on the stuff that we use every single day. Like put the tax dollars into building up our infrastructure, securing our borders, uh, funding the police, funding the military, making sure we can just really make America great again, honestly. <laughs> right. I agree with you very much on that. So I'm glad to have you on my podcast, and I'm glad that this is all coming about and, you know, and go from there. And, and um, you know, and I support Trump very much myself. I, I've been politically attacked um, a little bit. I've been attacked several times i've uh, had people message me and attack me on messenger and just i'm like i'm like whoa you know i'm not doing that to you but you're doing that to me and you know and actually that's actually over because i created a petition that says free donald trump and put trump back in office that is actually what's causing these crazies to come out of the woodwork and actually go nuts their question for you do you plan to run for political office when you turn 25 honestly i've thought like think, and thinking about that and i've played around with the idea on my true social uh platform uh like maybe running as a representative of some sort like a state level representative uh, because in the Constitution, we are able to run as early as 25. Also, looking on uh, the whitehouse.com, uh, there's like different like intern things you can do. And I'm probably, once this next administration comes in, I'm probably going to look into doing an intern thing in the White House and see, seeing what that will be like and uh, maybe learn something. That's a great yeah. idea. Yeah, that's because that is something that caught my point of interest. However, I do not want to be doing anything with this current administration that is in office. I don't uh, blame you there. And then going back to what you said uh, a minute ago, just about how you've been getting in a lot of fights uh, with uh, different people about what you post politically. Honestly, it is better to argue with the tree than it is to argue with a liberal. Like you'll get further with a brick wall than them because they all want to uh, go uh, feelings over fact, over feelings. Yes, I know. Goblet job finder. Well, currently, as far as uh, that goes, um, I'm trying to just redevelop and probably closer to rebrand because uh, I do want to still have like where you can find jobs. But I'm thinking about uh, focusing more on the business time side of it. Uh, right. That's really where not only you make the money, but that's where you can connect to people. Um, because yes. right now, currently in this job market, it's hard to find people uh, jobs just because not of everywhere. Of course. Is the job market currently in this day and age 
is not like it was five, ten years ago. Oh gosh, no. Mm -mm. So it's it's very different now. So it's just one of those things got to be worked on and figured out. And uh, so that's one of those things. It's hard to create a job finding platform when the job market is so crazy at this time. But as far as business right. cards, everybody needs business cards every once in a while. I used to carry this all over, and I'm not sure if it's in here still. Um, is that like, what is that? I can't see it on the video. Oh, that's cool. I usually carry that with me. And then this is like a commemorative coin. Yeah, it's kind of like how JFK had one. So, you know, and the thing of it is, it seems like people got amnesia in a short amount of time. Sorry, I am moving way too much. So, uh, it, it's like as if somebody got amnesia and forgot these days, you know, so, and that's... short memory span, so, uh, it's, uh... Like, it's crazy, honestly, like, just the, like, how short of our memory span is. It's like, not even memory span, like, our attention span. They say that the uh, average person's attention span nowadays is about 45 seconds. Yes, exactly. That. Well, that's what employers are, too. Oh, yeah, whenever you submit a uh, resume, they don't really look at it. They look at the format of it, and then they send that away. And if they like the format of it, they'll hire you. If not, if they only skim it like very briefly uh, before they, because they don't take that long of looking at yeah, it. Yeah, I heard something about the uh, resumes um, that they'll go in and um, correct me if I'm wrong, that they'll go in and uh, um, want you to try to almost like sell yourself that's honestly what you're trying to do when you do uh apply for a job you, you sell yourself like why should we hire you over anybody else like why are you the guy for the job and so you really do have to sell yourself like even if you're running for a public office you've got to sell yourself and sell yourself as this wonderful person of why would they want you to be representing them versus somebody else? And that's honestly what, what you have to do. Um, I read this article about uh, this, like, the uh, resumes and stuff. What uh, was in this article is that uh, they put, like, just a bullcrap uh, resume up that had several inappropriate things. The name was inappropriate. Then they are saying like they were a professional arsonist and just all sorts of different stuff in their resume. And it got through several rounds of uh, things and they even landed an interview. Just basically what they were doing was proving that uh, the resume does not get looked over well. If it was, they would have not made it very far in with their resume because it, like it said, it had just different stuff in there like professional arsonist, like, they talked about they assaulted their last uh, boss in their resume. It was all sorts of just funniness in there, just trying to be like, all right, how far can we go with this thing? And they landed themselves an interview. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's usually how it goes. So, I mean, honestly, like, that, they do not take a very long time uh, looking into that. And going back also with that being said, I also saw another article one day. Uh, just uh, asking, does anyone actually remember uh, Donald Trump's presidency? And my first thought was, it's like, of course, it was only four short years ago. It's like they're probably gonna say they're probably gonna say on that they're probably gonna say, oh, I got COVID, I don't remember. And that's usually nine times out of ten, that's legitimately what they say. Yeah, that's that's the thing. It's like 
What do you mean? Does anyone actually remember? Because I didn't end up clicking on that one. That one just. I mean, like, it, it, well, I mean, would they do get hit by the the red light that's Men in Black and not <laughs> 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 People sure act like it. There's no doubt about that. But it's like I know, Bush's right? Presidency. People will remember Barack's presidency. People will remember Bush's presidency. People that were alive remember Clinton's presidency, and so on and so forth. Uh, it's like, but they not, can't remember Trump's. It, yeah, it just it are, sounds very messed up. Are you not going to forget something that happened just four years ago? And just, MSN be whatever the heck they're called. They have way too many letters in their alphabet thing, anyways. But uh, it, they got they have TD they have TDS. That's their problem. <laughs> TDS all <my> <laughs> It's uh, the yeah, truth, it's, though. Yeah, it's like, what do you mean you don't remember Trump's presidency? Like, what? Like, they're trying to, like, basically, like, that, what it sounded like this article was going to be is, like, does anyone actually remember it? And then, like, probably trying to, uh, not blackmail you, but, uh, what's the freaking word? Uh, gaslight you into, uh, being like, yeah, while people think this was happening, this was really what, it's like, y'all need to just stay out of it. The news needs to be unbiased, but unfortunately they are, they are owned by biased, it's just all biased media, and that is where these smaller media things need to come in, like you having this show, like, it's a smaller show, but at the same time, it speaks more truth than these bigger companies out here that's pushing propaganda yeah i mean i was always brought up as a kid not to be lying to people stealing and cheating and whatever else is out there do drugs and alcohol you know hey this is cool you know i mean i i mean yeah there, there's some things i did that that you know uh i don't recommend doing when you're in your 21 years but you know but sometimes it takes, sometimes you can be of a help to other people um, when you go through those things, you know? Oh, absolutely. Actually, I... there, there, there's, a, there's a part of me that says, you know, if you've been there, done that, you could be of a help with somebody that's to help cope with that or help uh, get them away from that, you know? Um and try or try to bring positive into somebody's life too. You could always do that as well, which I've done that and actually saved their life from uh, from really deep depression. And I'm glad I did that because the, the dude told me some really concerning things, and I thought, man. Uh, you know, I went to school with you, I've not had any problems with you or anything, but you, you know, um, but I would suggest you need to go see somebody that can help you cope with this. I said, the thing of it is, instead of looking at things on the downside or Debbie Downer side of things, you could, you, you could look at the brighter side of the, the, um, things and realize hey there's other things for me to do out here versus oh you know i'm gonna be this uh lonely old person that has no wife no kids or no nothing you know the you know i mean yes i'm single as well but i don't i'm not a debbie downer and, and think i need to do you know commit suicide because of that you know there's other things to life than even that really but i will say you know have confidence in yourself build up confidence in yourself and and um be more positive i guess i should say more positive spirit so oh absolutely like that's definitely exactly what needs to happen is just People need to not get down in that rut of, like, I can't do it. This is just too much on me. Like, honestly, if 
you're ever feeling that something's too much on you, just or if on. somebody, if, if somebody's cutting you down and telling you you're a worthless person or POS or something, tell them, hey, no, I'm not, man. I, you know, I just need to be stirred in the right direction is all, and and go from there instead of thinking that. There's people that do that around here, believe you me, and it's oh. not good and it's not right but it but at the same time you don't you don't you i would rather know that person than to be the um the uh person that's against them and wanted to bash bash them and all that let's you know let's real you know give that person a shot versus trying to bash them with negativity and then cause them depression. So, you know, that's that's where... See, most people don't understand the things that when you bash other people, the, the, it causes emotional distress in somebody, and it causes depression. So, and that's what the real part of it is. You know, and you bring them down and belittle them. You know, that's what it does. Not a lot of people are aware of that. So, but that's because they don't know any better or they haven't took psychology. So. Oh, absolutely. And I truly believe that most of, not most of, all of a person's problems can and will be solved by God if you just give it to him and let him deal with it. And just don't worry. Just don't worry. Yes. I take care of it. And you will feel 100% stress-free just because I do that. So it's like, let, let him have it, let him handle it, and it will be okay. Uh, and some people just don't understand me about it. It's like, why do you just feel like, like, why do you not worry about that? Why is it just, is what it is? I'm like, listen, God's got this. God will handle it. I will be okay. And so you really... Gotta give credit where credit is due, and he will absolutely help absolutely. you. Absolutely. Going back to uh, being able to help people uh, and whatnot, uh, you were saying, like, if you've like experienced that, some of the greatest preachers out there uh, that's able to like relate with a bunch of the uh, people are the people that's really gotten out there and like lived life not how they should be living life, but like, you know, just out there living life as a sinner and just finally eventually finding their way to God and then eventually they become a preacher and they have all sorts of testimony to tell everybody be like hey this is how I was and this is how I am now God has changed my life for the better and I am a very happy more like person now because of that and that's just really what more people need in life is just find God and stick with him walk with him and really just get to know him you know right i agree 100 percent with that it's just it's just there's some that are out there that have you know i mean i i'm just saying there's there's those that have been um told that they were worthless and not helpful and all that it's like what is wrong with you people you know do you just there to bash them to make yourself look better and that's that's still that's still not right to do people that way it still happens t from time to time here but not often um actually it has happened to me on a job but that's because i went to school for stuff as well and i know that they went to school but the thing of it is i asked them if they went to college and I think they were like a two to three time college dropout. And I said, yeah, but if you're a two to three college dropout, that don't mean you completed college. I'm sorry, but you know, I, that's generally meaning, Hey, you know, you may have some college credits, but you can't go and say you have a associates or bachelor's or master's degree unless you have a certificate from college, you know, even if you go to 
college for a certificate program, it's still going to college, basically. Oh, absolutely. Um, I mean, well, most I people. This thing I do is, you do not need college to succeed. But at the same time, it really does not look good on you if you just, like, I get you're trying. And I, I am happy and all power to you if you are absolutely trying. But if you've, like, dropped out multiple mm-hmm. times, your credit is just starting to, like, get lower on the uh, podium toll if you're just, like, it just shows that you're a quitter, more or less. Uh, because it's one thing if you quit once. Twice is, eh, like... But by the third or fourth time, it's like, come, come on, man. Uh, you, like, you're you just, at this part, doing more harm to your look than anything by dropping out that many times. But like I said, you yeah. really do not need college for most of the jobs here in America. Honestly, even in uh, government, you don't need uh, any college for government. Like, it was even written into the Constitution of you don't need that because, of, for the most part, there was not college then. And now there is college. Like, there was, like, schooling, uh, like, all throughout history. Like, I'm not saying there was no schooling uh, and higher education. I'm just saying it's, like, it wasn't, like, as pushed. You would probably get, like, maybe a certificate or something as being a doctor or something. Or, uh, you know, some kind of – or even uh, back then they probably – learn from a doc to the podcast and visit more at Samuel Brock Flynn show. Thank you so much, Aiden. Uh, not a problem. Thank you for having me. Uh, and like I said, I do plan on accomplishing some great things. Uh, y'all check me out on my social medias. Just really most of them all is just at Aiden Goblet. Uh, really, I'm mostly active on Truth Social, so just check me out on Truth Social, all right? All righty. You take care. You guys have a great night. You too. Good night.